Undertale is for children, is what I would have said to you three months ago. I was wrong, very wrong. Look, I've been playing games since 1996 when my family and I immigrated to the United States from Italy. My nonna -no -no handed me a Super Nintendo and my life was forever changed. I've played games religiously ever since. And no game, not a single game in the last 30 years of gaming, nearly every day, has made me cry. Not once, but twice. The thing is, yes, sure, Undertale does focus on children. You literally play as a child and children are brought up many times. But why does it do this? Purity, innocence. As we grow up, life beats us down. Life hurts us. People hurt us. We lose friends because we move, because we fall out, because they die. We lose family for the same reasons. Life can make us turn to stone. It can harden us. Then a game like Undertale comes around. And in one sentence, it can make our hearts beat brightly. In one sentence, with one musical track playing in the background, it can literally heal. Despite everything, it's still you. Is the moment I realized that this video game was beyond anything else that I had experienced. Undertale, the track, name, playing in the background, has become one of my favorite moments in all video games. But I do think that that emotional impact starts way before those five words appear on the screen. You see, Undertale, as a musical journey, is a fantastic romp of a million different musical styles and genres. The playful experience of meeting your best friend that quickly makes you realize, uh, did the game just trick me? To being saved and protected by Turiel, hearing Fallen Down, this track, especially. You are safe, you are loved, you are looked after. Actually, Fallen Down Reprise is one of my personal favorite tracks from the whole game, especially that second half. It features that motive of joy and love we hear so often in this game. I can't recall a time when a video game made me feel like I was being embraced, almost like the game saw beyond who I am, the bearded man before you, but sweet and innocent Marcolino as my dad used to call me when I was young. That track in particular has a way of making me feel so safe. It's fantastically emotional. In fact, this whole opening of the game, aside from being a tutorial and showcasing how the general mechanics of the game will go, hits in ways few tutorials do, especially as we arrive home, a fantastically human piece. The guitar strings strumming slightly out of rhythm, reminding us of humanity. Butterscotch pie, a book being read by the warmth of a fireplace. Would that we could stay here forever. In youth, there's often a desire to rush forward, to leave the comfortable walls that we might know. No, I need to get out of here. I need to be free. There's a rush to leave, to grow up. And in doing so, we speed through periods of our lives, not realizing that oftentimes those moments and those periods of our lives are in fact the good old days. I know I did. I couldn't wait to leave my parents' house behind. When I went to college, a cocky, I don't need you attitude. I'd kill to go back to being 18 for just a moment. If only to hug my parents and hold on to that moment of my life for just one second longer. Home really hits home. I then imagine heartache may have been how parents everywhere have felt at one point or another. Listen to me, you idiot. I just want to protect you. Stop acting like this. This is the first time in Undertale that the stakes feel unbelievably high. You see, in stories, stakes have to be high in order for us as an audience to buy into them. It's not just going to the store to buy bread. It's this is the last moment we could ever be alive and we must fight to the death for our bread. The stakes are high. Heartache really stands out to me as the first time there is pressure in the game and it sticks with me, especially considered I killed Turiel in my first blind playthrough, which I was chastised for. Just to point out the genius here, just in a brief way, in the next section of this game, we have four different styles. Sans, nye nye nye, nye he he, dog song, the incorrigibly cute anthem for dogs everywhere, and one of my favorite tracks from the game, Snowden Town. I feel so happy that I'm dancing. I love this music, it makes me so happy. Four different styles of music in what, the span of 20 minutes? This game has got to have the widest variety of styles in any video game I've ever heard. You just have to laugh. Speaking of favorite tracks from Undertale, here are mine, in no particular order. Dating Start, the most fantastic track imaginable. I literally play this and I swear to you, I always get the sudden urge to dance. It's fantastic in every sense. It's playful, bouncy, and it brings a smile to my face. In fact, I've listened to it before going on dates. Dummy, for the aggravated 1920s song 
song that it is. Deranged, unflappable, ruthlessly confident. I picture enraged flappers in a 1920s speakeasy just mosh pitting, confusion everywhere. Temi Village. Just kidding. This song makes me uncomfortable. It's definitely playful. That acapella stuff is kind of charming in its own way, isn't it? Spear of Justice. I love the sharp rhythms, the focus, the determination of Undyne. The key changes, the melody you hear saying, come on, let's fight. I cannot be stopped. I admire her confidence and her unrelenting power. The oscillating between the melodies all focused on one goal, protecting her people against you. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. The absolute joy of hearing the bossa nova of, can you really call this a hotel? I didn't receive a mint on my pillow. With its syncopations and taking my favorite theme and turning it into something else entirely. This is... Silly. Playing with your food turned into music with Spider Dance. A rage inducing fight for me. <laughs> Son of a b <laughs> Of course, oh, one true love. Because we need more opera in video games. Oh my love, please run away. It's raining somewhere else. For the jazz club in a damp, dark city night, simple piano block chords that lead into a fantastic marimba and bass jazz trio thing. The constant feeling of a light rain as you walk along the sidewalk of a major city, try not to get rain in your eye. Long Elevator, the most perfect song that could ever exist. There's my favorite track, Elevator. Undertale, for being the most emotional song I have ever heard in any video game ever. Not even Aerith's theme from Final Fantasy VII impacted me the way Undertale did. The most perfect song to remind me of who I am. The most perfect song to remind me that I too can be a child. And I don't need to harden my heart to the world. That being vulnerable is a gift. That recognizing my flaws and choosing to love myself anyway is the absolute right thing for me to do for reasons I can't even bear to express properly. Undertale reminds me of a time that I don't even remember. A time when I was free of worry and stress. It's a long time ago. Hopes and dreams for fueling passion, determination, I know, the key word, unbridled joy, and the feeling that anything can be conquered with enough hopes and dreams, which I still believe and refuse to not believe it, no matter how old I get. Megalovania for being a giant fucking bop. So at the end of an Undertale playthrough, what is my opinion on Undertale and its music? Few games can change people. Few games can move people to tears. Few games exist, if any, with this much diversity in their music. If you are a video game music fan at all, you owe it to yourself to play through this game twice. If not, listen to the soundtrack. Let tracks like Hopes and Dreams, Undertale, Home, Temi Village, let them wash over you. They deserve to be listened to. I was wrong about this game. My preconceptions were completely false. No, this game wasn't made for me, which is something I said. I said this game wasn't made for me. And no, it wasn't. It was made for all of us. I hope this game continues to be celebrated. And by proxy, I hope we get another 100,000 covers of Megalovania, because damn, that song fuck slaps. Chiptune or not, this game is absolutely worth being experienced for its soundtrack and for the experience it provides for all of us who are seeking out the feeling of love and the feeling of being looked after. The game is a gift and the soundtrack is wonderful. I love my experience with it. As always, if you like this sort of stuff, feel free to check out my musical Let's Play of Undertale here, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.